Hi there, Aries, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of July the 19th through to the 25th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Aries. First up, we have the Nine of Wands reversed, followed then by the Nine of Cups in the upright. Next, we have the Seven of Swords reversed, followed then by the Page of Pentacles upright. And lastly, we have the Two of Swords reversed. So for your overall energy, Aries, you have that of the Nine of Wands in the reverse position. Well, this is the Wounded Warrior card in the upright position. This is where we're, we fought many battles and challenges on the same subject over and over again. Um, and we're ready to fight another day. Don't necessarily have to, but we're ready. We're just sort of standing there ready for, you know, to deal with the challenge coming up of the day. But when the card is inverted, however, this can point back to the Eight of Wands in the upright position, which is a card of movement, um, lots of communication, lots of activity, things happening. It could be for now, maybe there is a temporary truce, uh, peacetime coming here in a certain situation, perhaps where you have battled a lot of challenges. For some of you, it could be on the work front, it could be on the um, you know home front it could be with the relationship it could be with uh, health situations or uh, financial again it's a general read so it's different for all of you but at least the challenges are you know on hold at least for now so that's good news <laughs> coming right at the beginning of the week we have another nine here um, maybe you're you're working towards a completion of something with the dual nines in the reading. Nines are when we're almost at the end of a situation. Um, the nine of cups in the upright position is a card that points to having a wish fulfillment manifest. So it could be for some of you a big wish. For some of you, it's just a small wish. Maybe some of you have been hoping for this battle to die down or, you know, at least... Um, you know, give you a break. Uh, others of you, this could be about a wish, you know, it could be a romantic wish, it could be a financial wish, um, it could be career wish, whatever the situation is, to only take what applies, remember, in these readings. Your next card up is the Seven of Swords in the reverse position. Well, Seven of Swords in the upright position mostly points to trying to get away with something, trying to avoid something, trying to, you know, um, you know, just sort of dip out. Uh, it could be somebody else in your environment or it could be you. But when the card is reversed, this is where either if somebody was trying to pull a fast one here, Aries, they could be getting caught. Uh, for others of you, this could be about no longer avoiding a situation. Maybe finally something has come through for you. Your wish was manifest and now it's like okay now I'm going to deal with this situation head on maybe some of you were waiting for uh, backups or you know somebody to uh, help you or assist you in some way and now they're here and now you can you know deal with something head on you're not going to avoid it anymore or if somebody has been avoiding you for whatever reason you could be seeing the return of the person or you yourself if you've been avoiding someone maybe you're you know willing to start um, you know, dealing with the person again or the group of people again. Now, moving on towards the weekend, we do have the Page of Pentacles here in the upright position. It is a court card, could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is Earth Energy which is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female. So this could be someone external to you. And um, sometimes the page pages, although they tend to be representative of messages coming in, now it could be from an earth sign or it could be any sign, it could just be simply representing the... Um, the message in itself so uh, maybe you're just getting a message it could be about something that's tangible like the Pentacles such as could be getting a message about your um, you know uh, maybe some of you are looking for a place to live an apartment or house or something like that and it could be that you're getting a message about that others of you could be getting a message about some job if you've just recently applied for it it could be that you're you know getting messages about that and for others of you this could be representative of a child child or grandchild perhaps uh, getting a scholarship or maybe they need uh, funds advanced to them maybe they need help or assistance with their um, schooling others of you maybe this is you yourself um, needing assistance this could be maybe 
uh, news or information coming around about you know school finance uh, financing or even if if it's not like a traditional school it could be even a course or something that you're planning on taking maybe there's funds coming through for you for that or that kind of uh, situation and your last card is the two of swords in the reverse position definitely making a decision about something um, could be based on on this wish that comes through at the beginning of the week maybe this this message that comes through for you now for some of you this could be perhaps even if you're single and, and dating maybe this is a person who is you know arrived on the scene maybe they are an earth sign they could be messaging you maybe for some of you that's what the wish was and you're making a decision maybe to start dating this person or seeing this person others of you you're just making a decision because now you have the clarity you didn't have before when the two of swords is in the upright this can represent not knowing whether to go right or left because we feel that we don't have enough information to uh, make an informed decision when it's reversed pointing back to the ace of swords in the upright we have the information we need to make a decision and we're making one now this could be about any subject again it's just a general read so only take what applies to you but yep yeah, that is your reading Aries for this week I really hope it helped you if it did please feel free to like share and subscribe and I will see you next week bye bye